After relatively smooth sailing to begin the busy summer travel season, gas prices have climbed in recent weeks, but relief could be around the corner. Karen Kafa has a look at what's pushing prices at the pump and why they could make an August U turn. At the gas pumps, a summertime surge. According to AAA, the national average for a gallon of regular gas is $3.82, still 23 cents lower than one year ago, but it's 25 cents higher than when the summer driving season started Memorial Day weekend. As key states like Texas and Louisiana swelter in the summer heat, refineries have slowed down. Temperatures above 100 degrees have prompted temporary outages and cut supply. Refineries are exposed to the elements, and so refineries can't escape the heat. A lot of the time, sensitive equipment that refineries use is very sensitive to triple digit temperatures. Patrick DeHaan of Gas Buddy says at the same time, OPEC has curbed supply to drive global oil prices higher. Some of the heat related issues that now are starting to fade, but overall, the higher price of oil has been causing gas prices to finally rise to uh, some of the highest levels we've seen since last year. A turnaround could be on the way soon. DeHaan says the typically slower driving weeks of August combined with a drop off in temperatures could give drivers some relief for the final weeks of summer. If we can avoid a major hurricane or if we can avoid OPEC making further production cuts or other refining issues, we should see gas prices improving between now and Labor Day. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa. So how much can you expect to pay here at home? New numbers show this morning that a gallon of regular will cost you $3.93 in the five-county area of southeastern Pennsylvania. Drivers in South Jersey and Delaware are both paying just about $3.69 a gallon.